Welcome back. Today we're making a super simple recipe and it's also really interesting. It's coconut yogurt. We're actually going to ferment coconut milk into yogurt. It's really, really simple. There's just a few nuances that you wanna learn. I have two cans of organic coconut milk here. Make sure you buy full fat coconut milk because you wanna have a really thick, creamy texture to your yogurt. This is really simple. It's actually only two ingredients. It's coconut milk. We're gonna pour off the water and just use the cream inside the can. I'll show you how to do that. And then I have two packets of probiotics here. You can actually use a probiotic, which is a good bacteria, to ferment your coconut milk. Just make sure you have lactobacillus bacteria, which is kind of hard to say, but lactobacillus bacteria inside of your probiotic because that's what will ferment your coconut yogurt. Each one of my probiotic packets is a gram, and I like this one by USANA Health Sciences because they routinely test it to make sure it's alive. Probiotics are a bacteria, and if the probiotic is dead, if it dies in transit, if it gets too hot or something happens, then your coconut milk won't ferment. So I'll start by opening two cans of organic coconut milk, and here's the trick. When you buy a can of organic coconut milk, or any coconut milk, usually the coconut water inside of the coconut milk will separate. So this happens about nine out of 10 times. And if you wanna make sure it happens, put it in the refrigerator overnight and you'll definitely have a separation. So what will happen is the coconut cream floats to the top, the water will be on the bottom. So flip your can over. This just makes it much easier to pour out. So just open this. And I have a pint size mason jar here. So if I pour off the water, I'll need two cans of coconut milk for a pint size mason jar. So this is perfect. And then I have another one just for my coconut water. And you can use this in a smoothie or use this for another recipe. You can actually use the whole can for your coconut yogurt, but it just won't be as thick. So there's one, and then you can see that coconut cream on the inside, really thick. So my second can, let me flip it over. And like I said, it's almost always separated, but if you wanna ensure that it separates, just put it in the refrigerator overnight. And then this coconut water is excellent. You can drink it. Like I said, use it in a smoothie. Put it in just about anything. Let me just grab a spoon and then get all of that thick coconut cream into your mason jar. Here's one. The other thing I did is I poured boiling water over my mason jar. You don't have to go through the full sterilization process, like you're canning something, but when you're fermenting, like we're doing with this coconut yogurt, you just wanna make sure that there isn't the possibility of mold or bacteria to grow in it. So there's one and two. Okay. So it makes a little bit of a mess, but that's okay, just get it all in there. And then this is really easy. We literally just pour this probiotic over it. So just whisk that all together, get it nice and incorporated. So the small nuance to this is that it will ferment at 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And the simplest way to do that is actually to put this in your oven with your oven light on. You don't turn the oven on. The oven light will heat the temperature in the oven to about 110 to 115 degrees. If it's really cold in your environment, like it's the middle of winter in Montana where I live, you can turn your oven on just for like 30 seconds to get that initial warmth. You'll know that it's the right temperature because your body is 98.6 degrees. So 110 feels warm to the touch if you stick your hand in there, but it's not so hot that you wanna pull your hand back. I didn't think this was going to work the first time I did it, but it's worked every single time that I've done it. You just put the lid on it, pop it in your oven, turn the oven light on and let it go for 24 to 36 hours. You'll know it's done because it tastes like yogurt. It will be really tangy, you'll know it's fermented. All right, into the oven with the light on, put the oven off for 24 to 36 hours until it's nice and tangy. So I have one here that I already made for you. And again, you'll know it's done because it will taste like yogurt. It will be tangy because it's fermented. Let me show you how beautiful and thick this is. So to serve this, I just do a variety of fruit. I do some hemp seeds. You can put some honey on it, just however you like your yogurt. This is also great on top of overnight oats. So you can see how thick and creamy this is. And that's because we just use the coconut cream. So if you want a thinner yogurt, you can just use the full can of coconut milk. I do this every Sunday now because it's so easy. It literally takes like five minutes to pull together. And then you have this beautiful coconut yogurt the next day. So I do some yogurt in there. And then I have a mango here. I wanna show you guys how I make this really pretty. So just slice off the end of the mango. 
and then take your knife. Don't go all the way through, but just score your mango. Careful, the sharp knife. And then go the other way. And then take your mango and pop it out this way. And it makes a really pretty little mango piece. So I set that in there. And again, you can do this however you want. I like to do a few berries. I love making this for my dad when he comes to visit. He absolutely loves it. Then I'll do some blueberries over on the side. I have some blackberries and raspberries. Just use whatever's in season, whatever is a good price at the grocery store that day. Anything that you love. Do some raspberries. When you're food styling, things in odd numbers always look really pretty. So think of threes and fives. And then I like to slice my kiwi. I just leave the skin on. And who's ever eating this can just peel it right off. And then I do maybe three kiwi slices. Kind of right on the edge. And then I have some hemp seeds for the top. So when something's really creamy like this, it's nice to add something with texture and crunch to it. And there we go. That's how I do my yogurt bowl. You will impress your friends and family, but you will love this too. Okay, time to taste this. Mm. It's perfect. It's really yogurty, it's fermented and tangy, it's perfect. If you want more recipes like these, head on over to my blog at elizabethrider.com and subscribe to my email list. I'll see you guys next time.